We've got three kids. We don't have the time to find a new house that fits us. Our life is just crazy. Hey, look at the room here. This is just too tight. It might have been less tight if you brought less stuff. I'm living in my parents' basement, and it's not working. No. Buying a house is a huge investment. I would love a wooded area. I don't really love trees, but for some couples, agreeing on a house is completely impossible. If this were easy, you guys would have done this already. We need your help. To achieve homeownership, they will do the unthinkable. Hand over their entire life savings. Are you guys ready to let us buy it blind for you? <sighs> In all control. Buying a house that we've never seen before. To a team of strangers. Are you ready to see your house that we bought blind? <sighs> this is Buying It Blind. Wow! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What is on today's agenda, people? We're going to go meet Terrence and Mahalat. They have been looking for a house for over four years now. You're joking, right? No. Four years of not being able to find a house just seems a little crazy. I got the sense there was a lot of underlying stress. They don't agree on things. That's why we're here, right? You gonna draw over here with daddy? Come on. Let me see how you can dribble it. Good job, buddy. Did you have a chance to look at any houses today? I did look at some online in my style, but I don't know if you would like them. Of course. <laughs> and we need to find something. I mean, trying to find a house that is is, Hello. Hello. I, I, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> My name is Terrence Moore. Uh, I am 38 years old, and I am a director of relationship management. My name is Mahala. I'm 36. I'm a massage therapist. Terrence and I met eight years ago. We've been married three years, and we have two kids. We're living in a two-bedroom townhouse. I bought the house when I was a bachelor. The layout is just not conducive for a family. We're all on top of each other. Nobody has their own space. There's no room. We haven't found a house in four years. We looked at approximately 300 houses. The style is where we differ. I love gold. I don't like gold. I want earthy tones. I like modern. I need a big backyard. I don't like the heat. Georgia is hot. With the amount of things that we don't agree on, we're not going to be able to do this on our own. We really need help on trying to get this done immediately because we'll be stuck here. We can't stay in this home. Another day, another house. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yes. Come on in. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going, guys? We're excited to see you. You Me are? Why is that? Because we need your help. We're in extreme circumstances where I bought this place when I was single, met my wife. We have three-year-old, five-year-old, and we're still in the bachelor pad. I get reminded that. Got it. I don't feel like it's my home, so. So uh, whose stuff is all this? Majority mine. There's definitely a style difference. Yeah, I mean, I want something to have some character. When it comes to design, I've met those challenges before. We can, like, live harmoniously if you're open to that. We're open. We just don't know how to do it ourselves. Right. right. OK. You've been looking, I think she said, for like four years? Yes. Yes. You haven't seen anything you like? We see stuff that we like, but I think we get to the point where we get so stubborn that it's like, well, I want this, you want that, and we're busy. He travels a lot, and I'm here with the kids, and I'm working at the end of the day. I'm tired. I just don't want to deal with it. So are you I also looking? Are you putting that all on her? I have pushed a lot of the responsibility off on her. I am truly worried that if we don't step in and help them, this relationship could spontaneously combust. Look at her face, how gorgeous she is. Don't you want to make that happy? I, I do want to make it happy. I do. Yeah. He wants to get out of the doghouse. I, yeah, I that's do. where I'm he's in the been living. A lot, a lot. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see your place. Can we walk through the house? Of course, of course. Let's okay. start upstairs. Wait a minute, is that the kids' room? My son is right there. Wait my minute, daughter's they right really there. are in the same They room. are. I need to show you my closet situation. Uh -oh. This is your closet yeah. and the kids? Yes. At the same time? At the same time. I'm getting mad at Terrence now. I'm getting pissed <laughs> that this is OK with him. 
Oh my God, this is definitely the house that Terrence built. We gotta ask that king to scoot over on that throne and make some room for the rest of the family. How, how do you find anything? It must take you forever to get ready. Well, yeah, it does. Okay, so here we have bedroom slash office. I'm not a productivity expert, but this looks challenging. <laughs> It's a task, try to keep everything in order and also keep it out of the hands of the kids. Terrence and Mahala need room to be together, room to be apart. You sold me on the case of I need more space. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. They've expanded their family, but they haven't expanded their life. I feel like moms are always secondary. Like you put everybody else before you. I think so, yeah. definitely. I allowed this house to be for him and it would be nice to take care of myself. I mean, I need my meditation room. Let me you relax actually... and decompress in my own space. You guys aren't a family in this house. So what does that look like for this next spot? We would like an open floor plan. So if the kids are playing in the next room, we can see them. She wants a huge backyard and she wants a meditation room. I do want a basement. I think that's important. Um, as we grow as a family, we need space to have our own time and to be together. Okay, just to recap, an open concept kitchen, a backyard, a space for a meditation room, an office, and a basement for the family. You guys want to stay in this area? We're good with the area right now. Okay, what sort of budget are we talking about? I say 550. 550 yeah. would be all in for you, including renovation, including furniture. Are you comfortable yeah. with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Are there any hurdles for us to be able to get this done for you right now? I mean, I think we might need to sell our home. Okay. We can do that, but we're going to need to get everything in shape to put the house in the market here pretty quickly. At this point, we're willing to do whatever we can to get yeah. and move on with our life. I understand the sacrifice because I know it was the first big purchase that he had, but we have two 